Hi, I'm Eric Hubo from erichubo.com. Uh, this is a video to ask if filters or no filters. The other day, oh, I'm using a GoPro and normally don't use it, use it but I'm, I'm, I'm trying it. Okay, well, I've used it for, for courses that and this, but for uh, this small short video, I have not used it yet. So I'm, I'm trying it. Okay, so uh, I wanted to say, uh, the other day I was reading on Facebook, uh, a guy who had uh, a scratch uh, lens and many people told him you should have used the filter and others were saying no no never use a filter so what is my opinion about it this is true that anything you put in front of the lens will mm, take some quality away that's true but is it possible to always appreciate it sometimes you don't even see the difference so this is just theory obviously if you use a very cheap filter five euros or five bucks or ten bucks uh, what will happen is that first you will lose some quality second if you have some light coming just in front of the camera like the sun for example if you have a sunset then the light will come in uh, bounce on the front lens of your of the lens then bounce again in the back side of the of the of the filter then bounce in bounce out and like this you will see several times the sun in your picture what can you do then well take off the filter for this picture the rest of the time put a fit filter on it i speak about this neutral fi filter that doesn't that, that just protect okay so uh it's important that uh you buy a good filter a good filter maybe sometimes 70 80 euros so obviously if you have the lens that came with the kit and I tell you, you need to buy a 50 or 70 euros or dollars, uh, then you will think, well, that's a steep price for, for bad uh, lens. Yeah, that's true. And that's the way it is. I mean, that's it. Okay. If you have a very good lens, expensive lens, well, you will say, yeah, but why should I buy a filter if I buy the, I pay this extra for a good, for a very good lens? Because if it's a good filter, I guarantee you, you are likely not to see any difference. Anyway, many people who say, no, you should not use filter, are the first one to use filters, neutral density filters, when they want to do a landscape. They put this dark filter in front, and very often they use a cheap filter. So they tell you everything about the good thing of a filter, uh, not using filter, and then you use one and a cheap one. When a very good neutral density filter is expensive, maybe 100 bucks. And so these people should think a bit what they're speaking about when we used to do analog photography well I still do in black and white we also use a color thick filter to change the contrast of the picture and if we were using this then uh, i don't see why we cannot use on a digital camera use a filter to protect the lens once i was doing a, a, a post wedding uh, pictures on a on a beach we, th there was a lot of wind and uh, luckily had a filter because the sand the flying sand just made a small lo a lot of small scratches on the lens if i had on the filter if i had not this filter i would have ruined my lens like it was a, a 35 millimeter 1.4 and that, that, that that's about uh, 1400 uh, euros so i would have damaged my my lens so i think it's important to use a filter uh, when it's a problem then you take it off but it's always better to have the, the lens protected, okay? That's my opinion. Some people will think completely different. And I respect it. I just say what I think. Okay, thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Visit my website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can send me an email at info at uh, My Facebook is facebook.com slash photo. Uh, my Twitter, Eric Gibo, my Google Plus, Plus Eric Gibo, and I don't know what else, my Instagram, Eric Gibo. Well, look for me, and I, I, I hope you find me. Okay, thank you very much for your time, and see you soon.